So are you a senior golfer and you need more club head speed? I'm here to help you. I'm here to tell you, yes, you can gain more club head speed effortlessly and hit the ball farther and higher and shoot better scores. And so how do we achieve that? The main thing here is that what I see is that there's, I, I teach a lot of golfers and they come to me with a lot of tension in their arms and hands, their shoulders, there's a lot of tension in their shoulders, arms and hands, and that can throw a lot of things into chaos. And so I always compare it. I'm like, if you're going to hammer a nail into a wall, you wouldn't grab this thing and push, push the, push the hammer. You'd have some wrist movement in there. So you got to have some wrist movement to create some speed. And so you can't have tension in your, in your hands and arms and, and shoulders and be all locked up and try to swing. That would never work. You need to have a little softer wrist and you need to create some speed with your wrist and hands and arms. So again, this is for, this could go for every golfer, but definitely for senior golfers who need to create more speed and who are, are lacking in distance. I, I mean, there's a bunch of things that golfers do to restrict their their speed and one of them for sure is is their the first step I would do again after eliminating the tension in the arms and hands and you can see I need to have some I need to have some speed here to go through my arms and hands so this would be a good drill to start for anybody soft wrist and you can see the more I swing back and forth here the more I swing back and forth the more that my arms and hands can swing so I'm transferring momentum from my arms shoulders and hands the more I do this the less tension I have the less restrictions I have and the more speed I can build up so if it looks like this I'm going okay nice and relaxed with my arms and hands I can definitely build some speed I can definitely build some momentum uh, doing that and it becomes effortless when we start to add tension and I see it all the time. People hit, they have so much tension in their arms and shoulders that they start to push them, push themselves back when they're doing that. So I like to say, you know, no tension in your arms and hands, relaxed arms and hands, swinging the club head back and forth here, swinging the whole shaft, grip, shaft, and head back and forth. But you can see is that there's no club, no restriction in the arms and hands. So I can swing it as fast as I can, even very you can hear that whoosh when you're going through. So that's how you add speed. So I go ahead and hit one, just not restricting my hands and arms. And I can hit it pretty solid and pretty far doing that. So no restriction of my hands and arms, no tension in my hands and arms. That's super, super important to create some speed. Now, the next thing that you have to do for you to create some more speed as a senior golfer is to allow your hips to turn. So my hips can turn. So you can see when I swing back, my knees change flex, my hips turn, my shoulders tilt. So you can see, and, and you could even do this just be keeping it really simple. If I take my left shoulder, my lead shoulder, go down to the ground, you can see how this works. Now I get the club back behind me. I can create some speed there. So let my hips turn, let my shoulders turn. I can really create some speed. So that's some effortless power. And I'll show you again. So now I'm thinking about relaxed hands and arms. Let's turn the shoulder down. And I can hit that thing out there pretty far. I mean, that's a six iron going about, you know, 205, 210 right there. So it's pretty solid. Um, so that's the shoulder down, relaxed arms and hands. Now I'm not flipping my hands all around. I just don't have any tension in my wrist, but I have some, I have a little bit of grip pressure in my fingers of the hand, you know, cause I'm holding onto the club, but I'm, but as far as, I mean, I can whip that thing, whip the thing through without a lot of effort. And so now if I add that extra turn back and through, now I go ahead and hit that. Now I can really hit it hard. And that probably even went a little farther. That was pretty solid right there. That's about that's about 200 yards. I mean, I'll take a 200 yard six iron all day long, dead straight. And so, and a lot of you will do too, because that is creating speed. Now, one of the other ways that I like to do it is I like to maybe even grip the other way. So I turn the club upside down. So 
So when I turn the club upside down, you can see I can make this thing move pretty fast here. And that's just from my arms and hands. It's just from my wrist, my wrist and hands, my wrist and hands. So I can do this. So I can move that pretty quick and make that speed happen. I can't do that with tension and grip pressure. I can't do that. I have to soften my hands, okay? So I like to use a grip tension meter for people because every nobody really has ever held a little bird in their hands. Very rarely, very few of you have done that and squish a bird like Sam Sneed said. But I bet you, if you, I told you to go ahead and grab a club right now, so I'll give you a second. Go ahead, grab a club if you have one. I'm sure you do right in front of there watching this video. So go ahead and take your grip. Now I want you to squeeze as hard as you possibly can. That's a 10. I want you to almost let go of the club. That's a one. And I want you to grip it at about a three. So about a three right here, very soft hands and arms. There we go. Three tension. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit one here. So like this. So that's smoked. I crushed that 200 yards at least. So that's really solid, straight as an arrow. So that's huge. So all I'm focusing on that number three grip pressure, no tension, tilting the shoulder down, building momentum, creating speed. And that's how you hit it far. So again, my name is Jess Frank. I'm a PGA teaching professional. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you love it, go ahead and subscribe, comment, share, do all the cool stuff that you do on YouTube. And I know you are going to play really, really good golf by using these techniques, following along. And again, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great day.